Right, it's Sunday and uh, I'm on the Sugar Beet Hoe uh, today. Um, even though the conditions are very dry and we really want some rain, it does mean that we can get on with this hoeing. And I just wanted to just spend a little bit of time just showing you the system we're using with the Garford system with the Robo Crop and the uh, RTK steering. Uh, so this is the box that um, comes with the Garford hoe. And uh, you can see in uh, the box there's this arrow that is sort of going backwards and forwards. And actually that shows, if I was steering the tractor myself, it's actually being steered by uh, GPS through the RTK system. Um, but that would be telling me which way I should be um, steering, the, steering the tractor. Um, when it's running right in the center, uh, the little green dot appears. Uh, as you can see, it's just done that. Uh, but on the screen, you can see a various crosses, blue crosses, and that is the camera that is on the hoe picking up the rows, and the crosses are actually um, determining the rows and making sure that the hoes run uh, in between the crop rather than uh, to pull up the crop. You can see one or two, I don't know if you can see, but there's flashes of red and yellow as it picks up um, other bits and pieces in between the rows, but recognises that the main concentration of colour is the blue crosses where the rows are. And then um, if we have a look to see um, how the hoe is working, um, I'm not sure how steady this shot is going to be, but you can see that the, um, you know, there's quite a lot of, the hose are in quite deep, and we're just, because we've got a lot of black grass on these fields, so we haven't put them in quite deep, but you can see that even though they're disturbing the beans, then, you know, pulling up very, very few, which is amazing, really, because we're, we're travelling at about eight kilometres an hour now, so which is a relatively decent speed for hoeing. Um, but you can see that, you know, it does look a lot better after the hose being through. Um, but as I've said in previous clips, um, the one slight worry is that um, some of the grass still have lots of uh, dirt around. It might still be able to grow, but I think in these dry conditions it's less likely. The roots will dry out and um, we'll probably get a very good kill. Uh, but we're still going to go after this with the um, paracone weeder. Uh, just to make sure that we knock as much dirt off those roots as possible so they don't then um, reset themselves.